So have you ever had a game just like ignore your display settings? Like windowed mode, windowed borderless, full screen, just not having any of it. As for example, Trackmania 2020 is a game I ran into recently that on my system, it's got two modes. 1080p windowed mode and 2160p full screen. That's it. Nothing in between. This can be a real problem if you're like me and you have a little video card and a big monitor. My little NVIDIA 3060 happily maintain like 80 plus FPS at 1080p, but it struggles to hit 60 at 4K. And this is where Gamescope comes to the rescue. With Gamescope, you can render games like Trackmania at 1080p and display it full screen on a 4K monitor. You even have the option to do upscaling with AMD's FSR. And this even works in reverse. If you have a game that only supports full screen, you need it in a window, bam. As far as the game's concerned, it's running full screen on a 1080p monitor. Now, Gamescope and NVIDIA. Didn't know that worked, did you? All you need is a recent-ish driver, and uh, you're going to have to drop this into your Grub config. This is pretty easy. You do a sudo nano etc default Grub, and we're going to head down to Grub command line Linux, and we're going to put in NVIDIA-DRM mode set equals 1, control X, hit Y to save, then we're going to run sudo update Grub, give it a reboot, good to go. So where do you even get Gamescope? The first place you want to check is with your distribution. I know it's available in Debian testing, as we can see right here. So that means it's almost guaranteed to be available in Fedora, Arch, it's probably available in Suzy, Gentoo, Ubuntu, all the usual suspects. But what's the fun in that? We're here anyway. So let's just build it from source so we can play around with the latest and greatest. But in order to do that, we're going to need dependencies. These are the packages you're going to need to build the package. Also packages. I just wanted to say package an extra time. Packages. You know the drill. If you're on a Debian-based system, it's going to be sudo apt install. Fedora's got DNF. Arch has probably got something involving haunted unicorns. But once we're done with that, we're going to clone the Git repository. We're going to bounce over to the Gamescope directory. And from here, we need to run git submodule update init. We're going to do a mason build. We're going to do a ninja build. And then we're going to do a mason install. And that's it. We're ready to go. How do you run it? Simple enough. Right from the command line, all we need to do is type in gamescope dash dash help. There's plenty of options and you don't have to worry about breaking anything. Nothing you do here is irreversible. For our track mania game, we are going to use these launch options. Gamescope, small h, which is our nested height, 1080. Big H, that's our output height, 2160. Then we're going to have upscaling with our big U, that's the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and the B, and that's going to make the window borderless. Then, of course, I'm going to do dash dash mango HUD, followed by the traditional command flag. And what this is going to do is render the game at 1080p, upscale it to 4K, and display it full screen. How cool is that? You now have complete control over your games. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And if you want to support future videos like these, head over to patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Like these awesome people sliding by on your screen right now. They help make this magic possible. I want to thank each and every one of them. But that's going to do it for this video. Till next time, just get out there and do something wholesomely nefarious, preferably involving Linux.